I believe I'm a man who has experienced rather a lot, from balls to banquets and everything in between. What I haven't explored is what's just beyond my doorstep. I'm told that there is, out there, a world which I'm not very well acquainted with. The time has come to leave the royal bar, travel across this nation, and experience the people's big nights out. Tonight, I'm going in search of grime. So bless my Moses, might as well go from my peasant to the heir to the king. Only time I want to ride the bird is when I don't end up on the wing, so I beg you don't try it. Don't try it. So when I show we love, I beg you don't like it. Love. Hey, you I see the new drug is attention. This is Haringey Green Lanes. Not terribly green and only one lane. But anyway, I'm here to meet Madders. Why is she called Madders? Does she consider herself slightly mad? In fact, madder than mad, and therefore it's Madders. I've done a little research, and I'm told that grime is proving quite a sensation at the moment. Since I'm never one to follow the crowd, I've come in search of something extremely exclusive. And Madders assures me that's what I'm going to get. Hello? Hello, Madders, it's this you. Hi, it's me. She's coming down. Very kind of her, there was really no need. Hey, Mark. Hi. Hi. This is amazing. Thank you so much. What is it, Fox? Me? It's not, it's just pink fluff and it's cute. I love it. Thank you. We've, I've got a great night planned. We're actually going to a grime night. Why grime? Why, because... Is it, it grimy? It's a UK thing, it's homegrown. It's something that we, you know, it's our thing. Okay. It's our thing that we can put our heart into. Okay. But you will find out more about that later. So why don't you come in? OK, let's go. I meet Madder's friend, a fellow grime enthusiast who's been kind enough to offer us dinner. We need a spoon. Never mind the spoon. I want to know about grime. <laughs> I'm a female grime MC. Okay. I get on the mic, I do my thing. OK. That's all you Do you speak? Need. You've obviously had some kind of rap, Jay-Z Stormzy. or something. Yeah. Have you heard of Stormzy? Yeah. Stormzy. So Stormzy, like, he's an MC. The aim is to get a reload. <laughs> yeah. A concert? Hmm, no. Mm -hmm. So... What's a reload? A reload is when the DJ will pull back the music when you're spraying your bar. <laughs> spraying spraying your, bar. your bar. Let me make one thing clear. I'm not the underdog around here. Show no love and I show no fear. You better keep up the pace this year. Can I borrow some I've of your there. bars? Well, Give me a spray. I don't know about that. I'm not sure. <laughs> what is grime? I'm so confused. The language is beyond. I mean, who spits bars in public? It sounds really quite vulgar. I'm sorry. But I suppose one shouldn't dwell upon the vocabulary. Rather, let's find out what grime has to offer. Although, I certainly hope no one spits on my midnight blue velvet jacket. We arrive at the private underground venue. Entries only upon invitation. What a relief. This is going to take a while to get used to. Everyone's very taken by it. I'm feeling a slight pain in my left tympanum. But never mind. This is definitely not a poetry recital. I go in search of a moment's peace in the loo, which offers challenges of its own. Just some loser, not no father, not some doula. I've been MC before why it's FK. Crucial kick K R U C. I'm taking it all in. It's a lot. It's quite intense. I actually think I need a drink. Where's the bar? We had two gin and tonics. Thank you. Is that all done? For once, I find myself struggling with the etiquette. Nothing makes sense to me anymore. I must take leave and try to understand the protocol. This is what grabs the back. So it's young. It's like a new genre. Yeah, it is kind of new still. It is very new. These wow. are old. How do you memorize it? Well, I'll write it down so it's easier for me. But that's a long set. 
Yeah, well, that was one lyric. What do you mean, one lyric? That was one lyric. I mean, how fast can it be? Everybody make way for the king, pay for the great heavyweight of the ring, leave anyone amazed with a mayhem, I'll bring any chick, any breast, any legs, any wing, anywhere, anyone, anyhow, anything. Don't push me far, I might swing. One might stand, one night stand, I won't be obliged to repent any sin. Sometimes I think that I write that, sometimes I think I'm quite mad, then I think of times that I've had. I'm big in the game and I'm glad. Put your hands in the air if you're with me, if you're not, you're a minority, forgive me. My fans, I like to stick with me, I said, well, 150. Amazing! <laughs> High five! <laughs> that is something else. Thank you. So happy I met you. This bring has it been in, great. Man. Bring it in, bruv. <laughs> Loved it. I was always told to speak slowly, and every time I speak quickly, people can't understand what I'm saying. This is almost the anti-school of speech. It's fascinating. It appears to be time for me to spit my own proverbial bars. You need to write a little four bar. Four bars? Four bar. Shen, why don't you think of something now? I don't really think that I belong, but I'm here and I'll be strong. No American vibes, what is that about? Really? I'm not really sure that I belong. But I won't go home, I'll stay and I'm... be strong. It's actually really fun. <laughs> You've got him. With an insight into the genre and such professional coaching from my MC friend, I return a grime convert. I've accessed the inner circle. I've gained ultimate respect. And I've mastered the slang. <laughs> It's certainly been a journey, but what an extraordinary experience. I am, to quote Madders, buzzing. Oh my God, it was oh, incredible. Yeah. Thank you. And you were proper getting, you were skanking. I was skanking? Yeah. Does that make me skanky? Yeah. No. no. I feel like I've met some amazing people. Good, I'm good. People with incredible talent, yeah. people who are actually really kind and warm and welcoming. Because you didn't think that you'd have like such a great experience. Did I didn't you? know. I had no idea. Grime for me is something that you might find under a commercial kitchen. Or a dual carriageway. Or a dual hey. carriageway. You might not believe me, but I could have stayed. It's something totally new and different and strange and definitely not my cup of tea. It's not a cup of tea. It's actually a shot of an alcohol that I might not drink again. But it was fun. It was interesting. It was a real experience. And I have a feeling I will never experience anything like it again. <laughs>